We're told if the light stays on, so we'll call the light being on event P, then the battery will die. So if the light is on, that leads to the battery dying. So P and Q, just to make that clear, oops, we said P is that the light stays on. I can't write that up there. And Q is the event that the battery dies. We're looking to make an equivalent statement, so we can. This is the. This is what we're looking to match. Uh, so if you were to make a truth table, you'd expect the same truth values for whatever we're about to see over here. You could make a truth table, but um, let's see if we can spot it without it, because that'll save us some time. Uh, so this first one says, if the battery did not die, that's the opposite of event Q, right? The battery did not die, then the light does not stay on. So that's not P. So if the battery did not die, that leads to the light not uh, uh, the light not staying on. So that's what this statement is. Okay. Um, so one thing we can do uh, when we're rewriting conditional statements is if you negate the entire thing, P leads to Q, that's going to be the same thing as the negation of Q implying the negation of P. And uh, I forget what the name of that result is, uh, but you could check with the truth table too to, to Make sure that I'm not just lying to you, right? Uh, P, Q, we could do not P, not Q. I'm running out of room there. Here, let's do P and Q for our truth table. And remember, when you have two events, you do the first one, true, true, false, false, and then to get all, to capture all the possible, oops, I'm writing Q for false. To capture all the possibilities, you alternate the second one, true, false, true, false. And so if we're thinking about the truth value of P implies Q, that's true whenever P is true and Q is true. So true implies false, it's false here. Now if the, if the initial part of the statement is false, then the whole thing evaluates to be true. So if P is false, it doesn't matter what Q is because the conditional statement doesn't have anything to say about it. We write true in the end. And so now we want to check out not Q, see if that implies not P. So that just means we're negating, uh, we're negating this column. So instead of true, false, true, false, we're looking at false, true, false, true. So false means that this statement has to be true. True implies false. That's not true, right? Uh, so remember, we're thinking about the negation of Q. So false implies true. Since the the original the initial part of the statement is a false statement, then this gets marked to be true. And then true imply so this would be true and this would be true if we negate them. Look, the two truth values match. Okay, so this statement is the same. Um, I think of another way of doing that. I mean, this is our correct answer. I'm just trying to think of a simpler way to explain that. I, I think that's the easiest way to say it, that if you're looking to rewrite this statement, P implies Q, and that's the same thing as not Q implies not P. You can negate the whole thing, but if you do, you have to switch the, the, uh, the uh, conditional statement. This implies this. So keep that trick in your tool belt. And then translate, you know, all the options to see which one matches. Look, if we go through and translate the rest, if the battery did not die, so that's not Q, then the lights will stay on. That's this statement here. And these two don't match, right? If you try to negate uh, the the entire conditional statement, it should be this. It should be not Q implies not P. Uh, so this statement here, if the battery died, that's Q then the lights stay on. Okay, These two aren't the same. They don't have the same truth values in the truth table. And then the last one here, if the battery died, then the lights do not stay on. Again, you can check with the truth table, but we don't have any, any sort of tricks up our sleeve like that negating the entire thing. right? Um, yeah, so I think keeping that trick in your tool belt, negating everything and then switching the order, you can do that. and It's an equivalent statement. So this is the same as this.